So I'm going to cover on how to install the sensor on your body and then how to attach the transmitter to the sensor. So the transmitter I've just bought for a little bit over 500 Australian dollars and it's going to last three months. The sensor, uh, which is the, a part that actually inserts into your body, is only meant to last for one week. But you ask any user of the Dexcom out there how long they uh, leave their sensor on for and the answer is invariably leave it on for as long as you can. Um, and that may be anywhere from one week through to three or sometimes even four weeks. And what normally happens at the end of the, the life of one of these is it will start to come off your body or you'll get error messages and I've demonstrated those, one of those error messages. Um, in this video I'm just going to show you how I get the most out of the sensor without putting on any extra tape over the top because for me when I've done that in the past it's just caused more skin irritation um, and then swapping it to another site the original site hasn't actually recovered well enough for me by the time I'm due to go back to that site. So I always suggest doing a sensor insert um, straight after you've had a shower. You've got the least amount of oils on your skin. Uh, wait till your skin is nice and dry as well. The next thing we're going to do is prep the skin with alcohol wipe and let it dry. So let's take a closer look at all the little bits and pieces that we need. And then lose the shirt. So we just need these three things. We need an alcohol wipe to make sure the skin's nice and clean and there's no oil there so the sensor adhesive sticks properly and you get the most time out of it. The last thing you want is for this to fall off after three days. Um, it turns out to be a very costly exercise if that happens. So to give you a closer look at the sensor, all of this area here is just there to insert the sensor under your skin and it comes out this little hole here um, when we do insert it. The white section here forms part of the dressing that you stick to your skin and then once it's all inserted this whole section on the top comes off and just leaves the, uh, the dressing here with the small little plastic frame around the bottom. The transmitter comes in this neat little box but after all that packaging that's our $500 transmitter. This is going to last you three months, so the last thing you want to do is lose it. Okay, I think we've stored long enough. Let's do this. So just before I start with this, I actually want to talk about posture. Now the first time I installed one of these, I sat on the lounge and I sort of sat over like this and installed it on my stomach. And it went in fine. I mean, there was plenty of fat there to stick it into. But the problem was that when I stood up, it stretched, the skin stretched out, and the adhesive then was tugging at the skin and it caused a lot of irritation. It was very uncomfortable for the first couple of days. And that, um, that sensor didn't actually last very long because of that. So now what I recommend is to try and install it in the position that you will spend your, the most of your time. So for me, um, I work on my feet. My, my job is a standing job. I don't sit down at all during the day. Uh, I get home and I cook and clean the kitchen and that's all on my feet and then I might sit down for half an hour and then I go to bed which is obviously straight as well. So I install my sensor standing and I seem to get the best results with that. Okay, excuse the very pale complexion. I do work long hours and I don't see a lot of sun. So for me, I've got this nice little fat bit here that works really well for this. First thing we're doing is opening up the alcohol wipe and just cleaning the, the area. You want to make sure that's completely dry before we try and install this. Um, now you work out what the best angle for you is. For me, it's kind of going across that little fatty bit there. Um, a bit like that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, this is nice and dry now, the first thing we need to do is expose the adhesive on the sensor dressing. You want to be careful not to try not to touch the adhesive because we don't want to get any oil on it. We want it to save all its stickiness for the insertion site. 
Okay, so we've exposed the adhesive. Sort of line it up where, you, where, you, where you've got a nice uh, chunky bit to stick it into. Uh, you know, don't go up here on your ribs or down here on your hip. Um, that's, that's my favorite spot there. Okay, so we stick it on. And then we want to just push down on all of the dressing around it and make sure it's nice and stuck. Okay, so we've got our sensor stuck on, now it's time to actually insert it. Now this device uses a needle to push the filament under your skin and then it retracts out and leaves that filament under the skin. You think of it like a little bit of dental floss, there's no way you could just push it under your skin, it needs to be fed in there uh, with something rigid, and in this case it's a needle. You can actually look in that little area there and you can see the needle. So it's got this safety latch on it. The first thing we need to do is remove that and just pull it straight out like that. Okay, done. Now, see this ring here? We don't want to touch that yet. That is there to withdraw the needle once it's been pushed in. So we just want to hold the, hold the uh, device around here. And this is the plunger. And you need to push it all the way in and you'll hear a click when it goes in. So I like to just pinch there a little bit and so I'm lifting a little bit of fat up to it. Really hurts when you get it into a bit of muscle. And then, ready when you are, push, click, all the way in. Okay, so now we've got the needle in the skin with the filament. So now what we want to do is get our fingers over the little flange here and pull it all the way back like that. Okay, so now the needle is out of your body, the filament, the sensor is still, is now under your skin. So the next thing we want to do is take this part of it off and just leave our little brace there for the transmitter. Now if you can see closely, up the front there, there's two little grippy bits. If you squeeze them in and then push this up like that, It'll come straight out, no fuss whatsoever. And there we have our sensor installed on the body. We still have one little latch here. That serves a purpose, so that needs to be on there. Right. So, okay, so the first time I did that, it was pretty scary. Um, I mean, I was used to sticking um, insulin needles in, but they're tiny. And this thing, it kind of looked like it was a massive knitting needle. But it's not that scary after all. And if you get the right spot, you can hardly feel it. So the next thing we need to do is install that transmitter onto your sensor that's on your body. Here's the back side of our transmitter. And you can see, maybe you can see, there's two little dots there. And what we want to do is just give those a little clean with a fresh alcohol wipe. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're going to install the transmitter onto the sensor. The skinny part of the transmitter, the more narrow part, goes in first and it goes to the side that is away from this lever. So we just sort of push it in like that. You can see it's got a spot. Now don't try and push it in like this, that's what this lever is for. So once you've got the transmitter just sitting in place, this lever is designed to push up and actually click it into the transmitter bracket. So if you just hold everything with your fingers and just push it up and you want to hear two clicks. We've got one side, not the other. Right, there's the other side. Okay, so now we've got our transmitter installed on the sensor. And last thing we need to do is get this little lever off. And to do that, just hold everything steady, hold the end of the lever, and twist it like that. Done. 
Thanks for watching. I really hope you found that helpful. It was pretty scary for me the first time. I'm not pumping, so I'm not used to having anything attached to me. But to be honest, wearing the Dexcom has just changed my outlook on um, management of diabetes. Thanks for watching, and I promise next time I do a video without my shirt on, I'll get a fake tan beforehand.